See, I told you they dropped the charges on me in time for the gala. They even wanted to make it up to me by giving me this solid gold cane with a blue sapphire. I have to say, they did a great job capturing my good side. But enough about me, let's head in before someone spikes the punch. Announcing Blue Wave 3 and his guest Bass 13. It's pronounced Blue Wave, you dope! <laughs> Don't look at me, he was asking for it. Wow, this place is packed. Hey Bass, I'm gonna go spike the punch and get started on my review. You wanna join me or would you like to go mingle with some of the other guests? Well, that answers that question. So, today's episode, Make New Friends But Keep Discord, was written by Natasha Leringer, who's known for the episodes Pinky Apple Pie and It Ain't Easy Being Breezies. The first episode I enjoyed, but the second one I thought was one of the worst episodes of that season. Will this episode be enough to break the tie? Well, let's find out. The episode begins with Fluttershy and Discord having a tea party. However, when Fluttershy reveals that she invited her new friend Tree Hugger to the upcoming Grand Galloping Gala, Discord becomes upset thinking that Fluttershy left him for someone else and leaves to try to get an invite from one of the other main six. Which, strangely enough, is actually in character for him since he's still new to the whole friendship thing and tends to overreact in situations like this. We then cut to Carousel Boutique where we see Rarity putting together the CMC's outfits for the gala. And seeing as though this is going to be the first time attending, both Rarity and Applejack start getting emotional. I wouldn't miss this for all the jewels in Equestria! My little sister's all grown up! <laughs> Aw, how adorable. So after finding out that the CMC are going as their plus ones, Discord heads over to Sugar Cube Corner and tries to see if Pinkie Pie is taking anyone but ends up ordering all of the cakes. Wait, Discord has money? He wants all of the cakes! Ow, 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 ow. Okay, 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 Pinkie Pie, we get it. You can stop shaking the fourth wall now. How does that pony do that? So Pinkie Pie tells him that she invited her sister Maud, and with no one else left to turn to, Discord heads home and holy crap does this place look awesome. It's like a combination of Alice in Wonderland and the Neither World from Beetlejuice. Note to self, plan a trip to Discord's place. So after blowing off some steam, Discord finds out that he was invited to the gala after all. He just never got his ticket because it, along with partial Post, got lost in the mail. Alone. She'll think that she's my only friend. And now he's lost forever in the belly of some strange creature. Way to go, Celestia. So we get to the gala and Discord shows up with the smooths as his guest. He does have a yen for shiny things. Moving on, what I found interesting about the Smooths is just like Tyrek, it's a lot different than its G1 counterpart. Instead of being a huge multi-faced blob of purple ooze that turns ponies into grumpy depressed versions of themselves, it's green and can only get bigger by eating gems and other shiny objects. However, there is one thing it has in common with its G1 counterpart, it's immune to unicorn magic. That's actually kind of cool. So Discord spends the rest of the gala trying to make Fluttershy jealous, but when that doesn't work, he locks the smooths in the closet and tries to outshine Tree Hugger by doing stand-up comedy in the style of many great comedians. And we get what might be the best line in the whole episode. You're supposed to say who's there! This is the most basic of jokes! You're the most basic of jokes. Somebody call an ambulance because Discord just got burned! So the Smooths breaks out and starts covering everyone in its ooze, and Celestia is once again completely useless. But luckily, Tree Hugger manages to stop the Smooths by... making random noises. I don't know, just go with it. So Discord, more jealous than he was before, tries to get rid of Tree Hugger by sending her into another dimension. Oh dude, what is that? It's called Reality Babe, and trust me, it ain't pretty. So Fluttershy steps in, and Discord learns just because your friends hang out with other people, it doesn't mean that they're not your friends anymore. And the episode ends with Celestia revealing that she invited Discord so that he could make the gala more exciting. 
Yeah, if having someone almost get sent to another dimension is her definition of fun, then you can count me in for the next Grand Galloping Gallop. And that's make new friends, but keep Discord. And it was awesome. Seriously, I think this episode might even beat the cutie map in a top 10 best episodes of season 5 list. The comedy I thought was flawless, as there were many moments in the episode I found hilarious and worth a second viewing. Out of all of the references in the episode, I'd say that the Metal Gear one was the best since it was perfectly executed and was even able to get the attention of its creator Hideo Kojima on Twitter. The pacing was great and the new art design and gala dresses for the ponies were both visually appealing and a great example of DHX's animation skills. The new characters Tree Hugger and the Smooths I thought were both memorable and really fun to watch. And while some people may not like her, I on the other hand hope we get to see more of Tree Hugger in the future. The other characters I thought were used perfectly in the episode and didn't feel like they were all shoved in the story at the last second. I especially loved Discord in this episode, as I found his character to be both relatable and really hilarious. Overall, this was a fantastic episode and was one I will definitely be raving about in the future. I'd love to hear what you guys thought of the episode, so leave a comment down below and I will be sure to get back to you whenever I can. Until next time, I'm Blue Wave and I'll... Can I help you with something? Oh no, you are not getting your non-existing hands on this. Look, I'm warning you, pal. Stay away. Okay, have it your way. I tried to warn him, folks. Oh, that's not good. Uh, no hard feelings, right? I thought so. Fast, tree hugger, help! Stop this crazy thing! Aura coming off the waterfall was so alive, so like magic and manifestation. Oh, come on! Really digging your vibe. Well, this is one way to end a review. I'm Blue Wave, and hopefully, I get out of this thing by the next episode. Catch you later, everyone.